So episode three for starting this journey on trying to find the UK's best fry up. And um, albeit made at home, found in a shop or calf or whatever. But at the moment I'm at home, I'm starting from the bottom, starting from the cheapest you can buy it in the main supermarkets. See if it's edible because I'll tell you what, what a journey I'm gonna go on. If this one is edible, which I'm sure it will be, the only way's up, baby. You know that, you know. But in the end, you know, this is probably going to be uh, one video a week actually trying them out in places because I'm going to run out of stuff to try in supermarkets and all. But you know, once a week ain't bad. I'm having a fight the week, all in, all in the realms of trying to find the UK's best fry up. What a job I've given myself there. Anyway, right, today we're, it's all about Bean Day. I haven't told the missus about that because she would freak out because it's many beans. In fact, it was so many beans. I've got. They don't actually do finest beans. They do the mid range, then they do the savers range, then you get the Heinz and the Bransons and all that lot. Well, on the decent breakfast I'm going to do, I'm sorry, already out there, I might as well use my favourite beans. I've had the Bransons, had them all, all the top ones. It's normally what's on offer, but Pines is my favourite. That's already through to the final. I know that I can eat the medium range, and it's whatever supermarket I'm in. If I'm having beans that day, I'll pick them up and I'll eat them, and I don't question them. Um, and they're all very similar. So this goes on to also about the rest of the breakfast, which I'm coming down to actually making it. So it's only about the sausage and bacon, really, really, because I've got Heinz beans going in, Mushrooms are mushrooms, they're all down to how they cook, they're going to get cooked exactly the same on the savers or on the finest. The eggs, I think I might do a video on the eggs before I go forward because there are different types of eggs. No matter what, in the savers, I'm not going to try the different savers eggs and different ones because the basic cheapest eggs are what they are, but they will be the cheapest free range. And then we go on to the other ones, there's different ones like you get the blue eggs, you get the yolky eggs. You get the I'll probably actually give them a go because I do like the eggs and I know they get eaten. So I will do an egg egg one and then it go straight into the fry up. The next videos after that. But today, what we got as the just essentials, I would normally avoid them like the plague. Look at the state of them. Absolutely, this tin looks minging. All you need to do is a bean flavored tin. Look. You know what I mean? Not bags of crisps, you know what it is. Um, they've tried with a bit of colour. Molson's flavour. I will read the ingredients of this and all, but I don't want it to go on for ages. It's just beans, in it? Stockwell. At least it's got its own branding. Exclusively for Tesco's. I don't know how it works, but I think Tesco's have gone down the right road with this. Stockwell. Because it's taking it away from looking like value. So I'm, my marks have gone up with Tesco's because look at the difference. For a start, that does not say anything on that packaging, apart from the little sign there, exclusive relief for Tesco's, that that is value. Look at these. Would you be embarrassed to buy them? I'm embarrassed to even try them, let alone buy them. So yeah, points added to Tesco there. That's a bloody good idea what they've done there. And as the day's gone on, the packaging is not great, but it's different. It's not shouting out value, which I'll wait. I'll wait quite a lot. Anyway, as we all know, baked beans is Harry Cop beans. So we've got 44% in the Tesco one, 27% pure weight, two top ingredients. That's all I'm going to read. You've got a 1% extra beans in here with more tomato puree. More tomato puree. Doesn't mean it'd be more tomatoey, it might be more tingy, more to zang, more zingy. You know, and that can be bitter. Sometimes you need sugar to chill out the tomato. So I'm not sure I've reserved on them two. And what with the Morrison savers. Well, some Morrison's, Harry Cup beans, 44%, 44%, tomato puree, 27, 27, water sugar. Those. 
Molson's Molson's and Stockwell are very similar. There are a few different ingredients right on the end of the ingredients, but as you know, at the beginning of the ingredients, it's always the massives. And as you go down, it's, it gets smaller and smaller amounts inside of it. So they're very similar. Uh, um, as it's gone out on its own, all right, so, I can eat tin straight out, eat beans straight out of the tin. So that's how I'm going to attempt this, first of all. Give me a minute. None of these have got a ring pull. I suppose it might keep money down a little bit. I can't really complain, but my opener's a nightmare. So I'll be back in a second once I've opened them all up. By the way, I'm not sure if I've actually said the reason why I'm not opening it all up and Tesco's and you know, Heinz have gone straight to the final. I can't justify opening six tins of beans today. As much as what I like beans, they don't last. Three tins over the next few days are going to be quite... I'm the only one that eats them in the house. Um, so yeah, that's it. Right, so as we know, I've just done another picture to be the thumbnail for this video. Uh, my second thumbnail for the bacon one is very similar to the first one. I think people were avoiding it because it's a lot less for you than the other one. I thought bacon would be a lot more entertaining. Uh, I've done a little walk around. They don't seem like people like them, but I like doing them. So I think I'm going to do more out and about. Especially discovering new places like I did the other day, the folks in one. Just unreal. Honestly, great day out. But let's get back. I'm trying to avoid eating these and all. Alright, okay. I'm going to do it. Right, the Asda out there on its own. Here we go. I can't show you inside of it, but I'm going to go for a bit of juice first. What? what can I say it tastes like baked beans a bit milder than it's not a bit as punchy but brilliant beans though not the worst I've ever had cook it down that'd be alright this is runny Morrison Saver god this is like a drink I'll show you that in fact. Right, look. Yeah. That's the one. See the difference? Right, I'm sorry. Totally different flavour. It's like dead flavour. It's hard to put my finger on it. It's like really cheap tomato soup, but half the flavour of that. If you've ever had it, let's have a go at these beans. There's no substance in it at all. It's got beans in water. Yeah, the beans are the same as the, as the ones. A little bit hard. The juice in them, they look like they've got less beans in all to be honest with you. But because it's juicy, all the beans are easily dropping to the bottom, so that's probably why. This is the thickest yet, the stock well. Or maybe don't look it, but I don't know. It looks the thickest to me. Tastes the best of all. Let's go. Hands down, already, already the best. Right. Well, I've got to try them hot. I've got to try them with a bit of toast, you know. And so I'll come back. Once I've heated them up a little bit, but I've only got to heat up a little bit each, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. But I'm going to do it so... Yeah, as, as the savers, I've got a bit of time to soften down the beans. See you in a sec. Well, as you can see, I've taken a bit out of each one. I'm going to put each one on the triangle with a bit of toast. Um, still a bit of steam coming off. I don't know if you can see that, but 
give it a couple of minutes and then I'll give it a bite. Right, so here we are, in order to what you just seen. I'm going to go as the first. I wouldn't grab all that on any, on any part. Very nice. Most of one. It's a little bit pure. -y. It's not nowhere near like bitter, but as the wind's out there. But it's just a close shout. I still eat the, well I'm going to eat them, save as ones, it was on the plate anyway. Who knows what we get in these old greasy spoons as well, you know what I mean, we still eat them. Oh yeah. See that's the difference. I'll just put them in my mouth, they stop well. I know. Uh, just seem to melt. They are in the final. Well, I'm not sure when the final's going to be, so these ones won't be, but see, it's stock well. They are, will be in the final. Heinz will be on the main plate. Uh, I might do a comparison with beans later on if you really want it, but there's no point. If you're Branson lover, you love Branson. That's down to opinion, isn't it? So mine is Heinz. But out of these three, I'm telling you now, you wouldn't, if you're in the supermarket, you're not going to go out of your way to go and get a Stockwell one, are you? If you're in Morrison's, you're going to pick up not Morrison's one. For the amount of money that it costs, nobody's whinging. All pretty good. All succeeding. All going to get eaten. So, on to the next one. But So we know now, Heinz is going to be on the finest range. Stockwell is going to be on the value range. Which I believe is the value range at the minute. Here we go again, try and think, tick tock, tick tock on the head. It's very cheap. I'm just, at the moment, beans, a couple of sausages, three, is it, no, no, it's two bits of bacon. It's not even a pound. Not even a pound. Anyway, speak to you later.